Welcome everyone to another dose of Digital Soma. Uh, in the last episode, we connected up uh, the iron ore mine from Tunning Hall Mines and uh, Slannington Mines to our steel network to try to boost the station ratings of Bending Stone Woods, which if you look at it, we did. It's now very good instead of, uh, I believe it was mediocre before. Uh, so we can consider that a, a success. Um, we also added a good station from uh, Ginberg Heights Sawmill to Ginberg because uh, we transferred some, we were transferring wood from uh, Rayborn Crosswoods to Fetting Stone Woods um, just to give um, the trains from Tunning Stone Mine something to carry on their return trip because an empty train just costs you money. Alright, and uh, re-watching the previous episode, I realized that I made a couple of mistakes. Uh, I had to redo this track over here, and I never finished uh, signaling the track. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that now. Uh, I believe that's a one-way signal. I don't want a one-way signal. Uh, no, that's regular. Okay. That fence was confusing me a little bit. Uh, so now... We actually don't need these signals anymore since it's a so one-way row row um, you only need signals on the exit not the entrance so we're good there and I realized that we that I never attached the the farm to the factory here so we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick and hopefully that'll allow us uh, to put more goods vans on this line um, which should increase the frequency of their pickups and increase the station reading of Fondingworth West because uh, we've been having an issue with that too that's been low just connect up the uh, path there how far away can I get with the station Ooh, not very far, so we'll have to terraform a little bit. Just go that out. Station here. Yep. So that's good. For these uh, primary industry pickup stations, you probably don't need something this complicated, uh, just because um, there's, especially with the way I distribute vehicles, there's no. Uh, there's no real way for them to get backed up uh, but for good stations and some of your secondary pick uh, secondary industry pickup locations they can get pretty busy if you're trying to keep the station reading up so this just helps control the traffic so we will unload and no loading end of orders that one clone it go Vehicles, pick up the green. Right there. Uh, visit the road depot after full load. Uh, normally, you don't want to do that um, just because the uh, the cargo payment rate is based on the speed that the from the time your vehicle starts picking up the cargo to the time it's delivered, um, but. Uh, I guess we can't we can rearrange that just because I don't have breakdowns on but if you have breakdowns on loading will uh, take up a lot of uh, will eat up a lot of the vehicle's reliability so if you have breakdowns on um, you're gonna want to have your vehicles visit a depot if you have them set to full load uh, just because waiting really uh, really really makes their reliability drop pretty quickly and if you have breakdowns on it'll just clog up your train lines and everything so you want to be sure you're you want to be sure you have regular depot stops and keeping the reliability of your vehicles up if you have breakdowns enabled um, where is that route going? and again if uh, if there, if a vehicle's service uh, service interval comes up, they'll just go to the nearest road depot, uh, regardless if it's on their uh, 
whether regardless whether it's on their normal route or not so they can end up going some pretty crazy places so be sure you have uh, depots near where you want them and I don't think we need this livestock van we may need another green one now Fast forward while we get this road vehicle line figured out. Uh, we'll add one for good measure. I don't think we need it, but that'll work. All right, so there's that. You can see we have a little bit of goods waiting at the station, so I'll just copy two more and see how that goes. Hopefully we can get that frequency up to keep our, uh, take up our station reading. And Good order. Okay, those were the two thing, two mistakes that I noticed that I needed to fix. Um, ooh, still more goods waiting, so we can add, probably add a couple more vehicles. And the more road vehicles you have service, servicing that station, the higher the reading. So that'll be good. Now, let's see what we can do to expand our network a little bit. We aren't carrying oil, but that's such a short line that won't earn us a lot of money. So I will take a look around here. You could always add more farms to the uh, to this factory factory station. Uh, what, that would also increase our factory rating if we picked up goods on the return trip. So yeah, let's do that. I'll just go ahead and add a station here. Uh, is there another? There's that farm that's pretty close. Oh, two farms pretty close. So let's see. How do I want to do this? We will expand this station. We already have we already have a decent amount of lines going to the station. I think we have three or four lines coming into this factory station. So uh, we're gonna need more. We're going to need more station platforms pretty soon, or else it's going to get overloaded. Actually, need to equal this out a little bit, back up some of that. Um, two, that's three, that's four. We'll go ahead and remove that. Just do that. And actually, we'll. Go ahead and put a little bit of a bypass in there, just uh, just for trains, just as an eventuality if trains aren't coming to the station. Um, and this is combination terminus row row, so that this side's going to be a little annoying. Going to be tight turn, but. Can it just go straight there? No, it has to be straight. That's gonna need to be two more straight. This is gonna be a really tight turn on the exit here. Ugly, but effective. And then we're going to... Now we'll put a station at this one and we'll just feed, feed this station from the other two farms.
do that. You can join up this line here. you have a merging junction you want to be sure that there's enough space in the junction to where a train waiting to merge with the merge with the other line isn't blocking this line so if a train is blocking this if a train is leaving fending stone woods going to the going along this track to the factory station uh, and we have our farm train coming up here we, we want to we want to have the oil, uh, the, oh, we are transporting wrong. We want to be able to have the oil and goods train come along and have, and not have the farm train be blocking its progress. So we'll do that. Uh, I only want one train in this section. not like me. So then click on the town name, go to local authority. You can see I'm very poor and you need to be at least poor to build a station. So there's a couple of ways to deal with it. Um, if you have enough money, which I don't right now, you can bribe the local authority if you have it, if you have the option in the game settings. I believe it's limitations. Maybe not. Uh, you could Using this filter string is uh, really handy. Um, just bribe, environment, authorities, allow bribing the local authority. So we do have that turned on, um, but we just don't have enough money to do it. So the other option is trees. So if we go to uh, the transparency options, uh, it, you can go up to this gear and go down to transparency options, or you can press control X and the transparency options window will pop up click on trees just so we can see them and then let's see here if you go up to this uh, to the question mark the last button in the toolbar go to land area information uh, you can click on the ground and here you see Rayborn cross so click on the ground until you see none find the place where that uh, where that changeover happens, and then the last one that has Rayborn Cross in it, we're just gonna delete the trees. And go Pinwell, Rayborn Cross, delete the trees. Now, when you delete trees, it costs you, it costs you rating points from the local authority, so they'll hate you more. But planting trees gives you more points than clearing trees takes away. So if you plant tree, if you plant the trees you just destroyed, look, we're already good. Even though we just completely wrecked their landscape, just plant trees and they'll love you again. And that is the most effective way to deal with local authorities. It's just delete delete any of the trees in the uh, in their local authority area and just replant them and they will love you like no other very easily manipulated the population of open ttd is 
Okay, so we'll do this, we'll do this. Um, actually, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be a better way to do it. I will remove that, remove that. This will turn into a row row. Let's see. Uh, station approach. It's not going to be going very fast anyway, so we don't need we don't need to worry about this uh, curve of four um, slowing down our train because it's not going to be going at going at its maximum speed anyway. Turn this into a row row. Again, going out of the station, not a huge worry because it's going to have to accelerate anyway. Um, just go like that, connect those two. Now the question is how am I going to turn this into a Give this, give these trains an option to return this way. Let's do that. It's not super busy, so we don't have to worry about separating out the incoming and oncoming traffic yet. Uh, we'll probably do that eventually, just because we have, uh, we have. Uh, we don't have any more things to link up in this area to that factory so we might be able to just get away with this um, but if you start bringing in more than what we're doing you're gonna want to start separating out traffic which I will show you how to do in a later episode there's actually some really cool station designs that you can do um, eh, we don't have that much money I won't worry about this large hill yet now coming this way we need to go back It's going to be a little annoying to get over there. But, uh, change this around a little bit. Uh, this is going to be much more work than I thought it would be. Alright. We're going to delete the... Delete the... Delete this... Ah! Ah! There's a road vehicle in the tunnel. Alright, wait for it to get out of there. Alright. I'll delete that tunnel. <laughs> I've also paused the game to do this, but that's less fun sometimes. So we have to go the other way, which means we have to remove our track. You can press T. Well, if you have the uh, railway or the road vehicle up, pressing T will bring up the tunnel. There we go. So that, that track. a little bit out. Yeah. Have to redo that bridge. That's right. Let's see if we can use that. And to remove track when you have the, uh, so pressing A will bring up the tra uh, the railway construction auto tool, which is the omnidirectional, direction aware tool. Um, so you, and then if you have that tool up or any rail, any rail tool up, holding control will bring up the removal tool. 
Um, so while you have control held down, you can remove track really easily, or you can, or you can toggle it with uh, R, and this will leave it on. This will toggle between removal and uh, construction, or you can hold control. So I press Z for zoom in. Bypass the station, nice and quickly. A uh, tunnel under this track. Now, I prefer to use tunnels, um, but you can use bridges. Uh, tunnels, you never have to upgrade. Ah, that's right there. Um, tunnels, you never have to upgrade, and the trains are going down a slope before going up a slope. So they'll gain more, mo they'll gain a little bit more momentum going downhill and then going uphill versus uh, versus just going uphill and then going downhill after. So let's see, we'll do that. Blowing through some of our money, but we're, we have a we have a steady income right now, so it's not too much of a big deal. And then uh, and then when you're using the landscaping tool, uh, you can click and drag to do a whole area. Uh, if you control click and drag, you can do a diagonal area, which is handy sometimes when you're doing a diagonal tracks like we're about to do. So out to here. Just have a sunken rail track like that. Doing it all the way to the station would be a little bit overkill, so we'll just do that. And the only thing left to do is merge this line with that line. And we're good to go. Okay, so we need a depot. see what we're dealing with. So we're dealing with three farms. Uh, oh, of course we chose to do the the train feeder from the lowest producing farm. Uh, looks like we're going to have a lot more grain than livestock. Um, so we'll just do a little bit of a asymmetric train here. Um, I believe that's the train we're using for our line, mostly. Do I have replace vehicles on? I do, but I don't have enough cash. I believe I have my cash reserve set to $200,000 before trains will auto-renew. Um, so we still have some Ginzus in use. Um, and I said more green than livestock, so we'll do five and... Five and two. Uh, we could probably. Go in. I was talking in um, in square units, not the amount of wagons. So, with the base assets, um, every wagon and every engine is a half is a half square. Um, so, if you have a seven square station. Um, you have room for 14 cars, um, and then you can divide it up however you want. Um, so we'll do that. We will give it some orders, full load at that station, go to the running order with west, unload and take cargo, wait for four days. Oh, I didn't give it any goods wagons. That was an oversight on my part. So we will take that 
take two away from each. And give it four, get twenty. Oh, and you also need to connect the station up to this track. So let's go to Rayborn Cross and unload all and no loading. Go. So while that works itself out. Uh, and then if you have, so if you press A to bring up the auto tool in the railway construction, you can press S and that'll bring up the signals. And unfortunately holding control with the signals is how you, uh, it's how you add signals to the track. And oh, I have these on eight distance. So I want to be sure we keep that. Just do this. But uh, pressing R will do the removal instruction toggle. Do that there. Oh, perfect timing train. Able to construct that without it getting in the way. Unfortunately, it's just exiting trains are just going to be blocking incoming trains. It's just how the it's just how the setup's going to work. One, two. Five. Lost control. Again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Takes us all the way to that station. We'll just have it wait there. Need signals on the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the depot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can leave the track between the depot and the station. Uh, free of signals and then all the trains will just wait in the depot uh, so if you have a really backed up line uh, that's kind of a trick because depots don't have a train capacity so you can have like 20 trains in that depot rather than having them gridlocked and all the way back to even blocking Rayborn Cross uh, just having a depot without any signals uh, after it we'll just have we'll just force the trains to wait in the depot but it's not going to be that busy of a line, so we'll just leave that there. And then we'll add the, we'll add the road vehicle feeder. Just the wrong button there. That one will be for either grain or livestock. This one will be for whichever one we didn't do on the first one. And that train is on its way, so we'll go ahead and clone it. Holding control to so get the, uh, to have them share orders. Signals on the exit and need a signal there. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Fortuitous spacing. Put it there, put it there. Oop. That. We need to hold control so we can join it to the Rayborn Cross south. Yeah. And if you wanted to be sure that you connected the stations, these icons next to the name will show you uh, each type of station you have. Same thing. 
remote control to tell it to full load. And uh, a lot of times when I'm doing multiple stations at a time, uh, what I will do is I will keep the first road vehicle in a line next to the depot that I'm building them out of. And then I'll open a new viewport. Uh, you can either press the V button on your keyboard to add another viewport, or you go up to the map icon click and hold, drag down to extra viewport and open it that way. And then uh, you navigate the viewport just like you navigate the map. So right clicking and dragging with your mouse will move the viewport um, and then scroll using your uh, scrolling the mouse wheel will zoom in and out. And then I will have the viewport open to one station and I will put it next to the vehicles that I'm watching there. And then close that. Uh, that is not the first train we sent out. And close all these other windows. And uh, if we have if we have more than two stations, I'll just I'll just keep opening viewports until I can watch all the stations that I'm that I'm doing vehicles on. Um, but then we can watch trains at the same time we're watching the road vehicles and did I already send out another livestock van? I did. But we do need another uh, another grain road vehicle. And you can and again you can click on all the vehicles that you see in this viewport um, get their information, clone them and everything. Oop. Do we need another livestock van already? We do. And really the only road vehicle we need to know about is the first one. Because um, once the first one makes its complete line, then you don't need to add anymore. Oop, might have to add two livestock vans. They're getting pretty uh, close to depot accent. So you can see five, so we'll do that. The train's leaving, but the... Oh, I'm already upgrading to diesel. I am already updating to diesel. Should have seen that. Just wasted a little bit of money, but that's okay. Add another two livestock vans because they seem to be moving pretty quick. And so that we see the verse vehicle has completed its track, so we don't need any more green vans, but we might need more livestock. It looks like there's a little bit of a backup, but maybe not. We'll add one more just in case, but probably. And with that, we will end this episode. Uh, the feeder, the train feeder station from this farm, we'll have to wait till next time. Uh, seeing how low its production is, we might not even do it, um, just because I don't think it'll be worth it. But let's see if those new farm trains boosted this rating a little bit. Uh, it has a little bit. Uh, we'll have to keep adding trains to that line, just so, just so the funding northwest station keeps uh keeps a very at least very good i like to keep my station ratings at least very good um so we will actually just remove this station and again when building stations uh if you press the r you can remove stations rather than um deleting the whole thing because if i were to have uh used the dynamite tool on this station it would have destroyed the westbourne cross I would have deleted this train station as well. So you want to be really careful about using the dynamite tool on stations. Because um, it can actually, it'll actually delete all connected stations of that type, I believe. Uh, at least train stations. Yeah, so if you're 
removing train stations, you want you don't really want to use the dynamite tool. You want to click on the station tool and press R to bring up the station removal tool. Right, yep. So deleted that because we're not going to connect that farm. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Create another line and yeah, that's it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye-bye.